So today is the first time Julie is gonna join me on a cold <laughs> plunge into the cold winter Mediterranean water. If I get bit or stung by anything, it's your fault. Oh my God, it's so cold, it's so cold. I can't do that. Step by step. <laughs> you gotta get all the way in. <gasps> Ooh, One, yes. Two. You gotta stay. No. That's part of it. You gotta stay until you, until your breathing calms down. <sighs> Women just aren't built the same, you know. It was bad, but like not that bad. Is that why you ran out <laughs> as fast as you could? I still can't feel my legs. <laughs> All right, so check it out. I recently get this DM from a guy who's clearly just fed up with everything, and he says, "Using OnlyFans is better than being ghosted by real women." And it made me so sad. It killed me inside to read this because there's so many guys who would literally rather pay to get a girl's attention rather than trying to actually talk to real women. And it's even sadder because, bro, these women on this platform, the majority of them are using management companies. They're not even replying to the messages themselves. So men are literally paying for a woman's attention and then it's just some, some dude behind a keyboard to get them back to them. And look, the fact is that we know it's the top 20% of men who basically have their choice of all the attractive women because an attractive woman now, she just has to open up Hinge, Tinder, Bumble, Instagram, and she's immediately gonna have access to, to these men in the top 20%. So you have to ask yourself, why would she settle for anything less than that ever? Obviously though, that leaves most men, around 80% of men, feeling kind of hopeless. And I've been there before, man. I felt like it was gonna be impossible, so I even try. Like, I'm never gonna be as good looking or as rich as these other guys, so it's hopeless for me. And now on top of that, because guys are, you know, red pill aware, they're like, why am I even gonna put myself through all of this pain and agony to try and become better looking and to make more money and then women will be into me then but they're just going to want me for my money and they're not bringing anything to the table they think they can just show up be attractive and i have to provide everything like a lot of men are asking themselves how does this make any sense how does this benefit me at all and that's the reality that we're living in men are lonelier than ever and women seem delusional not understanding how good they have it Now, I want to present you with an idea. Ready? Your current reality was created by actions that you took one to two years ago, and those actions were taken because of thoughts you had two to three years ago. All right, keep that in mind. Now, for a second, let's remove women from the equation of life. And I want to ask you, how would you live your life if women just were not involved? There was no, you know, sex to motivate you, no girlfriend, no comfort of having a girlfriend. If you were just living your life, women were not a thing. I ask this because we tend to fall into very like hedonistic lifestyles that are just driven by comfort and living an easy life, right? Like we just wanna like, go to work, make just enough money so that we can get by comfortably, then get home and just sit on the couch, relax, play video games, watch movies, hang out with friends. But a lot of our life seems to be motivated by trying to avoid hard work and, and pain. And there's this false idea, I think, that life is just comfort and happiness when reality is like, no bro, life is life. Life is this combination of, of pain and of pleasure. And for me, you know, I've lived that life of comfort in the past where I've just not wanted to do anything and just relax. And now I've also lived the life of, of pushing myself, of going to the gym and lifting heavy ass weights because it's challenging and it feels good to get stronger, of pushing myself in my career, pushing myself outside of my comfort zone to try and start this YouTube channel and to create different businesses. And it's not easy and it leads to painful anxiety situations, but, but then I grow and it's so fulfilling and that has nothing to do with women at all. And look, to be clear, I'm not saying that I I don't enjoy hanging out with women and sexing, sexing women. No, I, I love women. I, I love having them in my life, but I would choose to live the same life regardless. Life is like you're baking this cake. That's your life. The eggs, the flour, the core ingredients. That's like your habits, you know, your fitness routine, your career. Women are just the little icing on the top, the little design on the top. It's still a delicious cake without them. You're not baking your cake just so that you hope one day there could be some icing on it. No, you're baking the cake because that's the fucking gift of life. It's a gift. It's an opportunity opportunity that we get to bake our own cake. It just so happens that when you bake a top 20% cake, women tend to want to be part of that cake. But if your whole worldview is that, oh my God, I can't believe I have to bake this stupid cake because that's the only way I'm going to get women. Well, well, then you've already lost. Bake the cake for yourself. If you have an awesome cake, it doesn't matter if women are involved. You're not going to be lonely.
Gains, bro, workout complete. Now, real quick, if you're working to level up your life right now, but you've been struggling to consistently meet like the quality of girl that you truly want, maybe you're trying, but you're getting ghosted a lot, or sometimes you just have to settle for lower quality girls, or maybe you're not even trying because the modern dating market seems so messed up and you'd rather just focus on grinding other parts of your life. Either way, I wanna let you know that I am here to help with my beast dating coaching program. My dating life before I joined the program, it wasn't going so well. I was just solely relying on online dating to get dates and was, you know, maybe getting one a month. Right now I'm, I'm seeing a girl, we're hanging out once or twice a week and I'm still going on other dates and meeting other women, which has never happened for me before. Like I, I've never had options. Before I joined the program, my dating life was uh, practically non-existent. From one date every two to three months, I'm going on two to three dates a week now. Over the past few years, We've helped hundreds of guys just like this because the guys in the program, they get access to a step-by-step -step course that goes over everything from you know how to effectively flirt with girls and tease them to how to set up the first date, how to get over approach anxiety, how to bring a girl back home. And not only that, I think the real important thing is that they get access to five live video coaching calls every single week with myself and with the other coaches we have on board. And on those calls, we're able to work personally with each guy to make sure whatever obstacle they're facing at that moment, we, we can work past that so they keep making progress until they're at the point they're consistently meeting and dating the types of girls they really want anyway we're looking for a few more motivated guys to bring on board so if that's you and you want to get this part of your life handled for good then you can go to b-coaching.com or click that first link in description to learn more and apply now click the link check it out let's keep this video going bro we seriously have a bit of a problem Quick check at the villa, even though literally nothing's changed since the last video we showed you guys some updates, but it's just like it's on the way back home from the gym to the apartment, so we can't help but come by and just be like, huh, yeah, is, was that brick there last? Oh, they put a brick there. They, they make a progress, too. They put a new brick there. The funny thing is there's some stray cats that live like behind this brick wall that's next to our villa. I don't think the dogs are going to allow it, but Julie's become obsessed. <laughs> there's about eight of them. They all have different personalities. I feed them every time. I know which ones I can hold and I can't touch, but I love it. Now I want to bring it back to the concept I mentioned earlier that your current reality was created by the actions you were taking one to two years ago and those actions were put into place by the thoughts and the beliefs you had two to three years ago. And like this is so powerful because it makes us aware that our current thoughts create our future reality. And if right now you're just focused on, man, it's not fair, girls have it easy, why do I have to do all this work and they don't have to do anything? Well, what actions are those thoughts going to lead to? Not any good actions, right? Probably no action at all other than bitching and complaining and what's gonna happen here with your current reality? Nothing's gonna change. Or what I used to do is I just wanted like instant results. So my thoughts were always, oh man, it'd be so nice if I could just have a girlfriend. And then what does that lead you to do? Well, that led me just to getting really obsessed with, with one random girl at a time. Like, oh, this girl I see at the gym, she could be my next girlfriend. This girl I see at work sometimes, she could be my next girlfriend. And then what actions would I take? Well, I'd talk to her, I wouldn't pursue any other girls. And then when it didn't work out, I'd be crushed and I'd stay lonely. Or if you're always thinking, oh, it'd be so nice to be rich. What action is that gonna lead you to taking? I don't know, maybe gambling a bunch of money on some crypto or something. But instead, if you start thinking and you start focusing on, I want to be the best at what I do. I want to make the most sales of anyone on my sales team. I want to put out the dopest content on YouTube. If that's your focus, what actions are you going to take? Well, you're going to be grinding, consistently trying to get better and better at what you do. And that's how you're going to get rich. Bro, the point is, first of all, your thoughts will literally create your future reality. And second of all, it's not going to happen tomorrow, right? The way you think will dictate your actions for the next few years. And then maybe next year or the year after that, you're going to be living an insane, crazy life you couldn't imagine. Stop focusing on what's not fair or what you don't like. And instead, focus on how am I going to make the dopest fucking cake in the entire world that I'm going to be so goddamn proud of. Salute. Bro, Derna's tonight our favorite burger spot. I got the dirty burger, double burger. I also got some sweet potato fries. Julie ordered mozzarella sticks. By the way, real quick in case you missed it, we just dropped the new Edge collection on Monday. And like, if you're trying to build the dopest cake, part of that is that your cake has to look 
dope, right? You need to have some go-to fits for every scenario. That's why I'd recommend you pick up our new Performance Tech joggers. They're just so clean and versatile. They're built from our performance fabric with four-way stretch. Perfect for a daily driver inside the gym and outside of the gym. Also our Performance Long Sleeve Henley. This is the perfect night out shirt. You literally just throw on some jeans, pair with a watch, and boom, you're good. And because you're watching the video, you know I'm gonna hook you guys up with a little coupon code. Just click that second link down in description or go to edgelifestyle.com to check out everything that dropped. Save a little bit of dough upgrade your cake looks. If you enjoyed this video, I recommend you check out this one next. It's about four dangerous habits that will mentally destroy you. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Click right there to subscribe because I drop two new videos every single week and you don't want to miss them. I'll talk to all of y'all in the next video. Stay beastly.